Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Reese's Random Reviews. I am Reese. and I'm about to give you a random review. Sadly, we have lost another true legend this year. Peter Salis has sadly died at the age of 96. Peter Salis was born on the 1st of February 1921 in Twickenham, Middlesex and he was the only child to his parents. Salis began as an amateur actor during his four years with the RAF when one of his students offered him the lead in an amateur production of Noel Coward's Hay Fever. After a success in the role, he resolved to become an actor after the war winning a quarter scholarship and training at the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art. He made his first professional appearance on the London stage in September 1946 in a walk-on part in Sheridan's The Scheming Lieutenant. Salas's first extended television role was as Samuel Pepsi, in the BBC serial of the same name in 1958. He appeared in Danger Man in the episode Find and Destroy in 1961 as the character Gordon. He even appeared in the BBC Doctor Who episode The Ice Warriors in 1967 and was even due to return in another episode called Enlightenment but sadly had to withdraw from the episode. Peter Salis also starred in another BBC sitcom called The Culture Vultures in 1970 which saw him play a stuffy professor George Hobbs to Leslie Phillips' laid-back road Dr. Michael Cunningham. Salis, even alongside, starred with Roger Moore and Tony Curtis in an episode called The Persuaders in 1971 called The Long Goodbye. He appeared in many British films in the 1960s and 70s, including Saturday Night and Sunday Morning, Doctor in Love, The Curse of the Werewolf, The VIPs, Charlie's Bubbles, Scream and Scream Again, Taste the Blood of Dracula, Wuthering Heights, The Incredible Sarah, and finally, Who is Killing the Great Chefs of Europe? But it wasn't until 1973 that Peter Salis became well known for playing the character called Norman Clegg in the long running BBC sitcom The Last of the Summer Wine. Peter Salis starred in every single episode of The Last of the Summer Wine up until it was finished in 2010. He even luckily got the very last word in the last episode. He even appeared in its prequel, the first of the Summer Wine, playing his main character Norman Clegg's father. However, he was more known worldwide for voicing the classic character in the classic cartoon, Wallace and Gromit. He voiced Wallace in his very first episode of A Grand Day Out and was only paid £50 by Nick Park himself to play the role. Wallace and Gromit became a huge success and won a BAFTA. Peter Salis then carried on voicing Wallace in two of its sequels, The Wrong Trousers and A Close Shave, which again won Oscars and BAFTAs. Peter Salis returned to the big screen by voicing Wallace again in The Curse of the Were-Rabbit, which also won the Best Animated Feature Film Award. He voiced Wallace for the final time in 2008 in the latest Wallace and Gromit film, A Matter of Life and Death. Since 2010, Peter Salis sadly could no longer voice Wallace and gave the role to Ben Whitehead instead. In 2012, Peter Salis retired from TV and sadly, he died five years later. He might be gone, but Peter Salis will never be forgotten for his roles. But not just that, he was also remembered as a loving and very funny man who everybody loved. He will be gratefully missed but never forgotten. I am Reese, and I have just given you a random tribute.